Hello, boys and girls. This is Mr. W. Today we are completing Step Up to Writing Lesson 2. And in this lesson, we will be reading and writing with the four different kinds of sentences. Four different kinds. Wow. When we are done learning about these, you can say, I can identify the four different kinds of sentences. Remember, identify means to give something a name, and we're going to learn those names. You can also say, I can write sentences with periods. This is a period. Question marks. This is a question mark. And exclamation points. This is an exclamation point. Excellent, excellent. You ready? Here we go. There are four kinds of sentences. Let's read together. I read, you read. Are you ready? A statement. Your turn. A command. A question. An exclamation. Let's do that again. A statement. A command. A question. An exclamation. Let's move on. Four kinds of sentences. A statement is a telling sentence. So a sentence that tells us something. It gives us some information. Like this person is telling us something. A command is an ordering sentence. This person is giving an order. He's ordering someone to do something or asking them to do something. A command. Like, stop throwing food in the cafeteria. Ooh, that's a command. You ready? A question is an asking sentence. Like when you say, Mr. W, what is that word? That's a question. An exclamation is an emotional sentence. You might be surprised or scared, and it has an exclamation point. So, if it's a statement, it probably has a period at the end. It's just telling us something. A command is an ordering sentence. This will also have a period. A question is an asking sentence. This will have a question mark. An exclamation is an emotional sentence. Ooh, it will have an exclamation point like this. Okay, so statement, period, command, period, question, question mark, exclamation, exclamation point. Let's move on. Let's play. Oh, let's play a game. What kind of sentence is it? Are you ready? It's time to practice identifying sentences. That means giving them the right name. Are you ready? Here are the four different kinds of sentences. A statement, a command, a question, and an exclamation. Let's read. She can fly with bees. You read. It's from our story. She can fly. Or bat can fly, I'm sorry, yes. She can fly with bees. She is the bat. Now, does this sentence tell us something? Or does it ask us something? Or does it give us an order? Or does it get very excited? Here we go. A statement is a telling sentence. She can fly with bees. Well, that's telling us something about her. They're, which is telling us she can fly with bees. I think it's a statement. Do you agree? Well, let's see. Let's try the other ones. A command. Is it telling someone to do something? She can fly. No, it's just telling us what she's doing, so it's not a command. Could it be a question? You're right. It would have a question mark, and I don't see a question mark. So it's not a question. It's not asking us. 
exclamation? Is it very excited or scared or anything like that? Anything emotional? No, no exclamation point. So I think we're right. Let's see if we're right. Yes, it's a statement. Excellent work. Let's keep going. What kind of sentence is it? Let's read together. Can I fly? Oh, it's from our story. Can I fly? There's the bear. Can I fly? That's a silly question. We know bears can't fly. Look at that question mark at the end. Is that a clue? There's a question mark. I think you're right. I think it's a question too. But let's make sure that it's not the other things. It has a question mark. Statement would end with a period. It's just telling us something. It's not telling us, it's asking us. Can I fly? So it's not a statement. Is someone telling someone to do something? No, not in this sentence. It's just asking. Is there an exclamation point at the end? No, it's not an exclamation. So I think it is a question. Let's see if we're right. Yay, we were right. Great job, boys and girls. Let's keep going. Ready? Look out for the volcano. <gasps> Say it. Wow, this is from our story, Go Plane Go. Look out for the volcano. Whew. That's pretty scary. Let's see. Is that a statement? No, that would have a period, just telling us something. Is it a command? Well, it is telling us to look out. It's giving us an order, look out, but it has an exclamation point. So I don't think it's a command right now. A question? Does it have a question mark? No, no question. It's not asking us anything. Exclamation? Sure. Look out for the volcano. Yeah, that is definitely an exclamation, I think. Let's check. Woohoo! You were right. Exclamation. That's the kind of sentence it is. Ready? Flap your arms, Mr. Bear. Hmm. Look at that sentence. Can you read it with me? Flap your arms, Mr. Bear. You say it. Look at, this is from our story, Can I Fly? And the bird is telling him, do this. He's giving him an order. Looks like he's telling him to flap his arms. Hmm, giving him a command? <gasps> Did I say command? Did you say command? Is there a word command here? There is. It is a command. The bird is commanding the bearer or asking him to do something. He's not just telling the bear something about himself or something. He's giving him an order. He's telling him to flap your arms, Mr. Bear. So it's not a statement. It's not a question, does not have a question mark. It is not an exclamation because it doesn't have an exclamation point. Great job. Let's see if we're right. Super, super work. Command is correct. Oh, look at this. I fly with a blue cape. You read. What is she telling us? Is she telling us? I fly with a blue cape. Could we tell her something? Like, I fly with a black cape. We could tell her that. Which one is a telling sentence? A statement, a command, a question, or an exclamation? Let's see, is it an exclamation? Does it have an exclamation point? Nope. Is it a question? Is it asking us something? Does it have a question mark? Nope. Command, is it telling someone to do something? 
I fly. No, it's just, just telling us something. There's no command. So it is a statement. Yes, a statement. Let's see if we're right. Wow, statement. You guys are so smart. Ready? Go under the bridge. Go under the bridge. Oh, someone is telling someone to do something. This is from our story, Go Plain Go. Go Plain Go. Go under the bridge. Someone is telling the plane to go under the bridge. He's giving him a command. Let's see here. Let's start at the top. Statement. Is it just telling us something? No, it's telling someone to do something, so it's not a statement. Command. Telling us to do something? Go under the bridge. That is definitely a command. Question? Does it have a question mark? Nope. Not a question. Exclamation? Does it have an exclamation point? Nope. No exclamation point. It is definitely a command. We are right again. We make a good team. Good job. Ready? Did you go into that wave? Oh, it's from our story, Go Plain Go again. Let's read together again. Did you go into that wave? What do you see? What do you see at the end of this sentence? I see it too. A question mark. It's asking. It's an asking question. A an asking sentence. Did you go into that wave? I would say it's a question, yes. It's not an exclamation, does not have an exclamation point. Not a command, because it's asking something. Not a statement, it's not telling us something, it's asking, so it is a question. Let's see. Fantastic, a question. Ready? Another sentence. Oh, it's from our plane story, go plane go again. Ready? But this one says, stop, plane, stop. Someone is telling the plane what to do. They're saying, stop, plane, stop, with an exclamation point. Whoop, that's quite a clue. An exclamation point? You know what kind of sentence that goes with? Okay, stop me. Statement? Nope. You're right. Command? It's definitely telling him something to do. That's interesting. But that usually has a period. I don't know. Question? No question mark. Exclamation? Does it have an exclamation point? And do we say that excitedly? Stop! Plain stop! It is definitely an exclamation. All right, let's move on. Woohoo, we're right, exclamation. Do you want to fly like her? Do you want to fly like her? You read. Look at her flying in the sky with her cape. Did you say you see a question mark right there? Is it an asking sentence? That's right, an asking sentence is a question. I think you're right. There's no exclamation point. There's not a period or it's not telling us to do something. It's not a statement because it doesn't have a period. Definitely a question. Let's see. Fantastic. Boys and girls, you're so good at this game. Now. It says, now it is your turn to practice. Get a piece of paper and write four different kinds of sentences. Here are some examples. Remember, our statement is just a telling sentence like this. The fire is hot. It has a period. It just tells us something. I want you to write a sentence in here. You could use a sentence from 
what we already did in the video or from a book, then a command sentence, someone telling you to do something like this says, stay away from the fire. You write a command sentence ending with a period. You can make up your own sentence or use one from a book. Exclamation. Make sure it's something that's exciting. The tree is on fire. Woo. That's an exclamation. Make your own sentence or use one from a book. And then we have a question. Where is the fire? Question sentences are usually beginning with who, what, where, when, why, how, or can you. Something like that, you could write your own sentence here or use one from one of our books. So remember, you could look at our books, Bat Can Fly, or Can I Fly, or Go Plain Go, or I Can Fly, and take sentences from there or make your own. Thank you, boys and girls, for playing with me. Have a great day.